Okay, so I'm just booting up Windows 11 on my Raspberry Pi 5, and that's because the Chrome browser now has a specific ARM version, which should mean it performs better. So what I thought I'd do first of all is run the x64 version, uh, and if I go to the web browser, so this is obviously Edge, uh, and go to download Chrome, it actually detects my device is Windows 11 ARM. So I'm not going to download that one yet, uh, but that's obviously what it's going to default to. Uh, I've actually downloaded this Chrome setup on my Geekon Mini PC, which is an X64 device. So hopefully it will allow me to install the X64 version and not the mobile ARM version, which should be hopefully a lot faster. Because Windows on ARM uses emulation for X64 programs, whereas if it's a native ARM program, then it's, it's designed for that device, so it should be a lot better. Okay, so we have Chrome on the desktop. Let's see which one it launches. Okay, we won't bother signing in. And we're gonna skip the default browser. Okay, I won't make any changes. And let's have this as full screen. So if I now go into settings and about Chrome, yeah, 32-bit emulated. Right, so let's go to Speedometer 3, which is a web browser test, and let's launch that. So start test. This basically runs through loads of browser tests to give you a benchmark. So you can see it's going through, working through various different things, and it'll give me a score at the end. So you got news web pages and graphs and all sorts of things. Now I'm running this from a Samsung bar USB stick um, because I tried to install Windows 11 on NVMe and uh, it kept crashing for me. So I've gone back to the Samsung bar just because it's, it tends to be really reliable for Windows on a Raspberry Pi. Okay, so it's nearly there. It's 475 tests out of 580. Funny how it uses the 32-bit version because 64-bit apps are supported on Windows on ARM. Okay, we're about to get our first score. Okay, so 1.06. And I can click on details. You can see how it did various different tasks. So let's do the same with Whirlpool, which is another test. You can see HTML5, and let's hit start test. And let that do its thing. And again, it runs through various different tests. My browser does not support WebGL, so the total score is 171. Okay, so now let's uninstall the Chrome browser so we go add remove programs. So that was version 123.06312.106. So let's click on that and uninstall. Okay, so let's close that down and let's go to Edge and do Chrome browser. And you can see they stay. There's no need to download a new browser. So Google Chrome, this one here and download Chrome for Windows 11 ARM. And yes, it's downloading pretty quick. Okay, so it's automatically opening up. Let's say no to all of that. We're not gonna set it as the default. We'll do exactly the same as we did before. And let's go to Speedometer 3. It feels snappy already, but I don't know if it's just me thinking it is. Okay, so yeah, that's running way, way faster. That's completely different. The other one was really going slow through these tests. Okay, already I can see it's gonna be much, much better. Going through all the web pages nice and fast, all the graphs and everything. Yeah, it's, it's just completely different. Okay, so it's coming near the end of the test now and you can see it counting up through. I mean, before it really was chugging through, but this is going excellent. Nearly there, and done. 3.87. So that's at least three times faster, nearly four times faster. Let's just hit the details. So if you want to go through any of them in detail, you can. And let's launch Whirlpool. I'm quite hopeful for this because that was so much better. And start test. Remember there was also a component, yeah, look, 100 FPS it started off at. Dropping down to 40. Obviously, it's as they're adding more cubes to it, it's going to slow down. But that's definitely moving faster. So remember, Whirlpool only did two tests. And I think it didn't last as long as this even. Oh, I see it says, until it drops below 10 FPS. 
So it's nearly there, 15, 16 FPS, so it's going to keep adding cubes. Okay, now it's gone on to the next test. Two sphere wireframes, the score of this test is determined by the average FPS. Oh, okay, so this doesn't need to go down to a certain level. Your browser does not support WebGL. So we had a total score of 860 versus 171 before. Uh, so that's more than three times faster. So that's really good as well. I guess we ought to try this on Edge. Um, oh, let's go back to Chrome actually and just go in the settings and see what it tells us. So about Chrome, yeah, official build ARM64. Again, version 123, but the ARM version. So now let's go to the Edge browser. Let's close down that one so we haven't got two windows open. Also looks fast. Okay, so Edge is faster, 4.23 versus 3.87 on Chrome ARM. That's interesting. Right, let's see what happens with Whirlpool and see if it can do more of the tests. This one here. And let's start that. That looks nice and fast. Slowing down quite quickly as more cubes are added. So again, we've got to wait for it to get down to 10 FPS before it moves on to the next stage. And the reason it doesn't do the OpenGL is because there aren't any proper graphics drivers for Windows on Raspberry Pi uh, at this stage. So I could do a test with uh, the normal Chromium in Linux and see how that does. So now onto the wireframes and 832. Uh, so it was 8. 60 was the score on Chrome, so actually Chrome beat Edge on that one. That's weird. Right, let's go back to Chrome because I haven't tried the video performance, whereas I've tried video performance before uh, on the Edge browser. And let's uh, run this one. Now this doesn't go as high as 1080 normally, but let's see what happens. So... It started at 720. Well, that's something, I guess. And it doesn't look that bad at 720. We're dropping some frames, though. Yeah, we really could do with graphics drivers. So 1080 is going to be pretty horrible. Oh, it's going to let me do 4K as well. That's interesting. Right, so 1080... Doesn't look that bad. I mean, it is dropping frames. Now, that looks pretty good, actually. I'd say that's better than we've ever had on Windows before on Raspberry Pi 5. Yeah, it's not dropping frames, and it does look nice and smooth. Okay, well, that's a result, definitely. Okay, I think I'm going to shut down and launch my version of KDE Plasma and just do those tests just out of interest to see how well they run. Okay, so this is my version of KDE Plasma on the Raspberry Pi 5, but it's based on Raspberry Pi OS. So if we call up the browser, you can see this is Chromium on Linux, not the Chrome browser, and it's version 1.2.2, so it's an older version. And it does say 64-bit, but it doesn't say anything about ARM. But let's run the tests. So speedometer, and I heard about this on Daily Tech News Show. They said that, uh, and they mentioned it specifically for Windows ARM devices. Now, there's obviously not very many of those about. Uh, the Raspberry Pi 5 isn't an official one, but there are obviously some Surface laptops and some other laptops are coming through, which, like the M series MacBooks, they are running ARM processors instead of the old X86 or X64 processors. Right, let's hit that start test and see how well it does. Okay, it's looking like it's going to be pretty quick. Of course, we will have GPU support on this. That's got to help. And it'll be interesting to see how far the Whirlpool test goes. Rather than just do the first two, hopefully it will do more. But yeah, that's looking pretty decent. Well, there's a bit of a surprise. 3.48, which is actually slower than Chrome ARM for Windows, which was 3.87. And it's quite a bit slower than Edge, which came up as 4.23. Let's see if Whirlpool goes better. Let's run that test and start. Oh, that looks fast. This could be better. 
and should go on for longer as well. Yeah, we have a test number four here running. Ah, so we've got a much better score, 1,548, but that is because of the GPU support. Okay, so some very interesting tests there, but uh, definitely Chrome for ARM is much faster than the emulated version, the 32-bit version that we had before. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.